What's up, insiders? Today we're going to talk about a new pod by an oldie, Kanger Tech. They came out with a gem pod. I haven't done a Kanger Tech review in quite some time. And to be honest, the reason I haven't done a Kanger Tech review in quite some time is because they really haven't released anything of any significance lately. The big question is, is Kanger Tech back on top with their new pod? Make sure you watch the whole review, find out exactly what I think. There is the pod. See, you got some gem branding in there, all right? Some Kangatech branding over there. There are some LED lights over here that are battery life indicator lights. You'll probably see it up top when I vape on it. There is your micro USB port for charging. All right, I wanted to give you a size comparison. I wanted to show it to some things that were the same type of form factor. The form factor it reminds me the most of is the, the Renovo Zero. I can't seem to find it. I don't know where the hell I put it. It's somewhere around, but I can't seem to find it. So I pulled these out instead. This is the Anakin EQ. This is the Smoke Nord. This is the Wismic Motive 2. Now you can see same type of form factor to the Motive 2. Very, very similar. All right. Same type of thing going on there. The Nord, definitely a little taller, definitely a little bigger. All right. The Nord is a push button vape but very very similar type of footprint and here it is next to the Inican EQ again Inican EQ is bigger but very very similar as far as size goes so that's it I just wanted to give you a proper perspective as to how they all look next to other mods that are of similar styles here is your pod right here magnetic pod you can see clearly marked 1.2 ohm I do like that, that they clearly marked it. It's magnetic. There you see the lights right there. There's a draw light and your battery lights, okay? We'll go over them in a little bit more detail. Inside, it is magnetic. You got two gold-plated pins. Nothing that we haven't seen before. All these pods are pretty much the same. Here is the pod itself, okay? Gold-plated contacts on the bottom right there. All right, like I said, nothing special. Nothing that we haven't seen before. See this little divot right there? Kind of get your fingernail in there, and you just pop that open, and that's where your fill port is right there. Kind of a tiny fill port. You got to go slow because you can make a mess with it. It's not that big. Just make sure you go slow. Pod's definitely on the dark side. I would have liked to have seen it a little lighter because you really got to do hold this up to the light in order to see your juice level. There's your draw hole right there. Okay, and that's about it, man. You fill it up, you slip it in like that, and you start vaping. You also get a micro USB cable for charging. One more or less look at it, all put together. Nice paint job on it. I'm digging that two-tone effect. It's a good-looking pod system. All right, insiders, let's get into them cons and pros. First con is going to be, and I am truly sick and tired of saying this con, Kangatech, do you even watch reviews? You can't put one pod in a box. Mm -hmm. How many times are you stupid companies going to do this? I mean, it's an automatic con. Why would you build a product, send it out to reviewers, and then have an automatic con right off the jump when all you could have done was spent a couple of cents more and put a, another pod in the kit. Does it really make sense? It's just stupid, man, and I'm sick of dealing with it. Ridiculous. It's a con. Another con is going to be, it does feel a bit underpowered when you vape on it. The pod itself, in order to see your liquid level, it's a little bit on the dark side. Mm -hmm. It's not as bad as I've seen other companies do as far as the darkness of their pod, but this one could have been a little lighter. It's a con. Last con is going to be that pod. It sits in there a little loose. I don't mm. like it. I would have liked to have seen it tighter. You needed to use better magnets or just do a better fitment with the pod. But that's it on the cons. Let's get into the pros. First pro is going to be the airflow on this is really nice and on point. Let me show you what I'm talking about. It's just nice, man. It's got a nice draw. The flavor is actually pretty good. Just a nice, smooth, even draw. I would say it's definitely a legitimate mouth-to-lung draw, very much in line with something like the Caliburn. Nice. 
Like I already said, the flavor on it is actually pretty good. You saw the cloud production just before for a pod system. Cloud production is not bad. I like the form factor. Kind of reminds me of that Renovo Zero, right? Same type of form factor, that Wismic Motive 2, that type of form factor. It's comfortable, it's an easy carry, I like it. It's easy to use, man. Not much going on here. You know, fill this thing up, pull on it and vape. Pro. I do like the overall build quality of it. I wish the pod was a little tighter, but otherwise the paint, the, the, the feel in the hand, the build quality of it is really nice. It's a pro. For those people that like a mellow vape, like even if you put Nick salts in it, because it feels a little underpowered, you're gonna get a very mellow vape. For those type of vapors out there that like that, this will definitely be a pro for you. It's just a nice, smooth, very laid back type of vape. Let's get into the original question. Is this one gonna put Kangertech back on top? Like I said before, it's been a while since Kangertech has really released anything of any significance. Kind of a shame because when I first started vaping, they had that Kangertech sub tank mini. And for quite some time, that sub tank was kind of in a class by itself. Unfortunately, this one isn't gonna get Kangertech any rave reviews. It's not in a class by itself. It's nothing really innovative. It's very meh, very middle of the road. It's a good solid pod system, but it's no world beater. Unfortunately, like a lot of the decent pods that are coming out, this is gonna get lost in a sea of pods in a very oversaturated market when it comes to pods. Let's get into some of the specs on the Kangertech Gem pod system. It measures in at 32 by 14 by 80 millimeters. It has a 2 ml capacity and weighs in at 37 grams. The pod itself has a 500 milliamp hour battery. Maximum wattage output is 11.5 watts. You have three battery light indicators. When three lights are showing, you are over 65%. Two lights showing 30 to 65%. And one light showing means you're below 30%. Colors include black, pink, blue, rainbow, green, and silver. I'd like to give a big shout out to Kangertech for sending this one my way for this review. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you today. You, keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. Today, we're gonna go over the top 10 pod systems. Now, last year was the year of the pod, without a doubt. And I know 